Is anyone fit, not fit? What's the situation? Yeah, we have uh, still out uh, Nabil Bentalev and Ryan, Menso, Ryan Mason and uh, uh, Son too. Well, but this is the same that uh, a few weeks ago. And and this is the, the news. What is wrong with his son? What's his injury? His injury was on the on the foot, in his foot. And but it's okay. We are happy with him. He's uh, he's uh, he maybe in the in a few weeks uh, will be will be back. How many is a few? Few. How many? Three, four, one, two. two. One or two. <laughs> yes, one or two or three. Four. <laughs> nah, it's a shock. Uh, I think that it's uh, nearly to come back uh, to start to training with the with the group. And you know, every injury uh, are different, and we need to assess day by day. Where is Ryan Mason in his schedule? Is he one week, two weeks? Yes, um, Mason and Nabil are close. Uh, more close, closer than 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 Sony. Uh, yes, maybe in, in, in for the next game or, or the or Bournemouth a Premier League game, maybe are available. Is Eric Dyer's suspension a, a big problem for you because he, he played very well recently? Yes, always is a, a problem when you have a, uh, some player in in this situation. And but we have a a big squad. I trust in all player. Uh, sometimes you need to to pick or decide uh, who is the best player for playing different games. But I, I am happy with the, with the squad and and, and, and no worry. Um, you know, always you want to to have all player uh, fit and available to to decide uh, who pick. But this is this is football, and we need to accept the the situation. You said before the international break that you were confident that Roy Hodgson and the FA would would do a good job of managing Delhi Ali into the England senior team. Were you happy with how they did that? And, and what did you think of his performances? Maybe? I am very happy. Uh, I watched the, the second game that play uh, many minutes, some minutes, and first touch was you no know, was was a great action. Now uh, he's mature, and uh, uh, it's, it's, it's true that they look after in a very good way. Uh, and happy in the way that uh, he he come back, and because it's in, a, in a, the same that when he he goes to the to the national team, and uh, I think that uh, I'm happy in the way that he he's. Do you think that his maturity will be? Thing that, that will get him to the next level as much as his talent on the pitch. So anyone can have talent, but you need to be able to deal with the, the mental side. Is that really important for him? Really important for all player. Really important for all player. And uh, he's he's a, a very mature. He's a still young, but he's very mature. And that uh, how he's on the pitch is outside, and he's a he's a great a great uh, a great uh, boy and. And I, th we, I think that we are we are happy how he adapt uh, in the in the different level in the different league. The Premier League is very tough, and uh, he come from he come from League One, and uh, he adapt very his, himself in a very good in a very good uh, way. Do you think if he carries on at this level of development and he remains fit? That it's likely he'll go with England to the European Championships. Do you, do you think that will happen? It's not a question for me. I think uh, it's a question for uh, for Roy. But you never know. In football, all is about performance. If you follow, or he, if he follow in the same in the same way that he he play in the in the last uh, few months, maybe have the opportunity to to go or to go. It's not because he's young or because he's 19 year old. I think it's, uh, football is about performance. It's not, it's not about name. It's not about uh, uh, age. Uh, it's about performance. And and uh, if he follow in the same way, maybe have the possibility. Maybe. 
I know you haven't met Jurgen Klopp, and you don't you don't know him therefore, but having seen him from a distance, obviously you've watched his teams, and you know about the style of football that he likes, and you know about his personality from what you see. Are you impressed with him? Do you do you want him? Do you, do you think he will be good for the Premier League? I think he's very good, very good for the Premier League. Uh, would he come here? He impressed us uh, with the, his job on, on Borussia Dortmund, uh, and, and, uh, and we wish all the best for Rukin after after Saturday. What do you like about his style of football? I think that, uh, you you describe much better than than me. I I saw on the on the TV a lot of uh, information about how uh, is. Uh, his style, and we watched a lot of game from Borussia Dortmund, and we have clear idea, maybe how he can play. Is it a style that will fit well in this league? Do you think? Do you think yes. It's a success? Yes, of course, of course. He's a great manager. Uh, have clear idea when you saw the games uh, from Borussia Dortmund, and you, know, you understand that uh, he's a manager that have clear idea how. He want he want to play. You're a foreign manager who's come to England and adapted to the Premier League very well. Not that he would necessarily ask for your advice, but if, if you were to give him some advice on on adapting to a new league and a new country, what are the, the main things that you have to do well to be successful in the Premier League? Always for uh, for us is uh, the same. Uh, combines the player that uh, they they believe in your in your philosophy. And in your ideas, uh, this is the first, the first thing important. And then uh, you need to know the culture, different mentality, different football. And um, but when you are a manager like Klopp, or have the capacity to manage uh, or to arrive to play on the final and the Champions League, I think that you have the skill to realize and to adapt. Your ideas and the and the new culture and the new and the new football. In his first press conference, Jurgen said that he wants to be able to say in four years' time that he has won the Premier League with Liverpool. Do you think he can make them into a title-winning team again? It's been so long since they won the top division. Can, can he do this? <coughs> I don't know. I think it's another question for another people, not for me. Uh, yeah, I, I believe that uh, he is he, he uh, decide. Uh, he knows he's in a, in a big club and Liverpool a lot of expectation. Like us on Tottenham, I think the same the same pressure and and in few years maybe we need to to win some title too, no? Maybe. Last, last, one, last, last one. Do you, um, do you still speak to some of the players up there uh, who you managed, who are now at Liverpool, you know, Klein and Lallana, these guys, Lovren? Uh, have you spoken to them since he was announced as manager? Do you know that they're excited or impressed? Happy? No, <laughs> impossible. And after because and then because we, we play Saturday, we are very professional and they are very professional and. It's no good that we have the relations now on before the game. We have uh, a very good uh, relation. Uh, sometimes some message we cross, but, but no in this week. After that, the club uh, take the the club. Thank you. Okay, so how much of a change can a manager have in the space of time that Jurgen Klopp has been at Liverpool? And you know, can he make it a very different Liverpool? To the one we saw under Brendan Rodgers. You can set, set, settle some, some ideas. Um, my experience, our experience on Southampton, uh, we have uh, three days for prepare the game against Everton, and uh, uh, and you work work hard, very hard to try to to settle some ideas. It's impossible to put all the, all the ideas of the philosophy in in their mind on, but on the team. But always you try to change something and it's not easy, but it's not difficult because you need to put some ideas and start 
that the player to give the tool for I started to play in the way that we want you want to play. You would have been doing some work on Liverpool before the change in management. Does that mean that your research is a bit useless now? Uh, No, it's, it's not uh, inútil, ¿cómo se dice? I'm useless. I'm useless. It's not I'm useless. I'm useless. I'm useless. I'm useless. I'm useless. I'm useless. No. So you can use. Useless. You can uh, useless. It's not useless. It's not useless. Yes. We can use mm -hmm. <laughs> the information. <laughs> we can use because uh, uh, in the last few months, uh, Liverpool play in different way and change the system from the beginning until uh, Everton. And uh, and how we analyze uh, Dortmund and and the way that uh, club play uh, is some some similar concept uh, we can take and because we have some reference maybe I give too much information but the first half uh, that uh, Liverpool play against Arsenal on the Emirate he play in a similar style that played Dortmund last season. And, you know, today they, we have a lot of tool, a lot of um, resources. resources for uh, to, 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 to reserve the, the, the information. And, uh, but in the end, the truth is Saturday on how they play and how they put in place uh, his, his idea. And he's sure that he has uh, all information about Tottenham, but we have all information about about club today. It's easy to to research 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 information from from all manager and all team. And just finally, for me, we've got a lot of big personalities in the Premier League in terms of management. Do you think Jurgen Klopp's going to give us in the media and fans quite a lot of entertainment? I think yes. It's a good for you. Good because uh, it was funny on on Dortmund. In every press conference after the game, and yes, okay, I think it's a good entertainment, 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 entertainment for you. Yes. Phil, Monsieur, how much of a different challenge do you expect from Liverpool now? You're going to be coming up against players with a new optimism, fiercely motivated to stay in the Liverpool team. How much difficult is it going to be now? For, how much more difficult is it going to be for your players on Saturday lunch? We need to equalize the same level, the same mental level, because we expect that the Liverpool player are in 200% uh, commitment and, and exciting to play against Tottenham. You know, always you want to impress your manager. When I write the new manager, you want to give your best. But it's not uh, a worry for me. We need to stay in the same level, mental level, and to try to equalize uh, the, 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 the energy and play in our way. And, and we know how we need to play, and we need, uh, we need to develop our, and deliver our job and after this football. And uh, our mentality is to try to win the game, because three very important points for us. How pleased are you with the run that you were on? Highly impressive result against Manchester City. If you can beat a Liverpool team with a new manager on the show, what will that do for you and your players? No, I think it's, it's not uh, about to win or lose uh, Saturday. Uh, believe or not believe, or believe more in our way. I think there's a different circumstance, and uh, it's true that uh, always in a big game is a, um, a big effect if you win. The next, the next game because Liverpool big expectation with the new manager, but for us it's three point very important to uh, go up on the, on the on the on the table, and always with a good result and the positive result, your confidence, uh, your trust, and more in your in your way. How's it going, everyone? Now, as you can see, keeping it hashtag casual, having a little chill. I'm injured at the moment, so I'm not going to be standing up and ranting. Also, I've seen an anger therapist, so I'm a bit more laid back now. So, we have a new match preview, and this week we are playing Liverpool at White Hart Lane. 